Hello friends, my name is Jenny Van Oyen, and I am the guest experience and administrative assistant at the Tipper Rice Art Center, located in Fishtail, Montana. I am standing at the Tiara Acoustic Shell, our unique outdoor amphitheater designed by Arab engineers Alban Busway and constructed by Gunstock Timber Framers. This structure uses angled panels to bounce sound back to our outdoor audience without obstructing views of the beautiful Beartooth Mountains. Today, we'll learn how to take simple materials found in your home to make small spaces that reflect sound, creating our very own musical instruments. Let's go inside of Daydreams and learn how. For this project, we will be making upcycled spin drums. You will need disposable cups in any size, string or ribbon, a stick, which could be an old straw or old glow stick, beads or pebbles, piece of paper, a knife, a pen and scissors, and finally, a glue gun. First, you will choose your disposable cup. You're gonna to wanna to figure out what sound your cup makes. The bigger the drum you'll have, the deeper the sound will be. If you make your drum smaller, it's gonna be a sharper, higher pitched sound. Once you choose the cup that you like, you're gonna to wanna to cut it to size. Take a pen and mark where you're gonna to want to cut your cup, all the way around the side doesn't have to be very exact. Then you'll take your scissors from the top of the cup, cut down to the line that you just marked. Make a few cuts to make it easier to cut it to size. You're gonna start peeling back those layers and cut in. You're ready to cut your paper cup to size. Awesome. We also need to make a covering for the opening of our drum. So put that side facing down on your paper, take your pen again, and trace it around and around. Take scissors and cut out that circle. You might wanna cut it out a little bit bigger than the circle you just traced to make sure it fits over the opening in your drum. Perfect, there you go. Set that aside. And now you want to mark exactly where you're gonna be placing your stick so that you can spin your drum. You're gonna make two holes on the top and bottom and also two holes on the side, which is where your string is gonna come out of. First, you'll mark on the top of the cup. X marks the spot. And then at the bottom, now you'll take a knife. It's okay to ask an adult for assistance. And you're gonna cut that X out. Go on the other side and do the same thing. You might want to take a pen, make sure those holes are nice and big so it's easy to poke your string through. We want it to wrap around the paper cup at least once. Measure it out, mark it with your finger, and then cut it down to size. First, you're gonna take your stick I'm gonna place it through one hole, just like that. Now you're ready to pull your string through your holes. You'll wrap it around your stick and you'll place it through the hole on the side of your drum. And then string it through the hole you created on the other so it'll look something like this. And now you're ready to glue your piece of paper onto the back side of your drum, which will close it up. This is when you'll be using your hot glue. Remember to ask an adult for some help if you need it. You're gonna wanna put a thin line around the rim of your cup. Not, you don't need too much here.
Perfect. Take your piece of paper that you cut out, put it over the hole and gently press down, sealing your drum. At this point, you'll also wanna take your hot glue and glue around your stick where it's coming out of the opening to secure it. Now you'll take your noisemakers. We have some pebbles. You can use beads. You can use tabs from your soda cans. And you're gonna secure them onto your string or onto your ribbon using that hot glue gun. Place just a bit of glue. Secure our pebble. We'll do that to the other side as well. Put that pebble down. You wanna make sure you let your glue dry. And then at that point, you're ready to test out your spin drum. We're creating music. At this point, you can decorate your drum however you wish. Think about the sound it makes. Does that sound make a certain color? Does it have a certain texture? Decorate it with paint, with crayons, whatever you'd like. We're ready to create music. Thank you for watching. For more videos, check out our YouTube channel. For more information about the Tippet Rise Art Center, visit www.tippetrise.org.